Eyewitness News. New at six, 81 years after dying in the attack on Pearl Harbor, a sailor will be buried next to his brother at Fresno Memorial Gardens. CBS 47's Justin Sacher joins us live in studio with how new technology is identifying those in tombs of unknown soldiers. DNA samples from family members allowed scientists to identify remains of Denver True DT Kaiser. He was 18 years old when he died in the sinking of the USS Oklahoma in Pearl Harbor. His remains were never identified until now. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The surprise attack on Pearl Harbor killed thousands and devastated America's Pacific fleet. USS Oklahoma sailor seaman second class, Denver True DT Kaiser, was just 18 years old. He had enlisted in the Navy at age 17. His mother, my grandmother, signed permission for him to join at that age. Kaiser was on the USS Oklahoma when it was torpedoed. Remains were recovered with great care, but the process was difficult and took years. Back in the day, they had dental records, height, and body. That was it. The soldiers' remains, sometimes just bone fragments, were interred in a grave for unknown soldiers. Kaiser's is now known, thanks to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency's USS Oklahoma Project. The Oklahoma Project is a huge project because we have so many service members that we needed to identify. So there were 394 sailors and Marines that were unaccounted for. Nephew Dwayne Kaiser heard about the project at a veteran's memorial. He and his sons offered DNA samples. Which bones have the same DNA? And then that DNA can be compared to the DNA from living family members. Then came the call. The USS Oklahoma Project found DT's remains. He'll be buried next to his brother this weekend at Fresno Memorial Gardens. 81 years later, we're having his services. To find out more about the work of the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, check out our website. The story's there at yourcentralvalley.com. Live in the studio, Justin Sager, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.